so here she is, Pate Estaca, Jessica Andrade. It was pretty amazing to see her put a capstone on this UFC career and beat Rose Namajunas to win the title at UFC 237. She's a real problem here at 115 pounds. She's a real problem, John. And she became a problem when she went down to 115. You saw immediately that the power and the cardio and the pressure and the ability to hurt people in a division where most fighters aren't knocking them out with one punch was possessed by Jessica Andrade. And being in Rio and watching her win that title, you truly felt the enormity of the moment as Andrade got her hand raised and the belt wrapped around her waist. Yeah, she won four fights in the UFC at 135 pounds before moving down. No woman in UFC history has won as many fights as Jessica Andrade. So here's the global superstar, UFC strawweight champion, Magnum Zhang Wei Li. The fight against Carla Esparza to win the title back kind of felt like an eventuality. She dominated that matchup, and now we'll see how it goes as she gets back on the horse here tonight. Well, she's going to try to replicate that. She needs to go out and dominate. Most times, though, when you see Zhang Wei Li walk to the octagon, you feel like she's going to be the winner. I don't know if there's ever been an instance where it seemed as certain one person would win as a challenger going into that rematch with Carla Sparza. But tonight, she has a much bigger challenge yeah. in front of her. If she's going to get it done, she's going to have to rely on all that skill and on that great athleticism. Physically, she is going to overwhelm the majority of strawweight competition. Perhaps she'll move up to flyweight at some point down the line. Tonight, though, the latest title defense for Magnum Jean Wade. And now our tale of the tape for this strawweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Strawweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jessica Mateus Taka Andrade. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, John Magnum Way. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for fight. this one. Ready. Go. All right, early round action here, and let us see what John Wei Lee has to offer. Many believe she is the most powerful strawweight on the roster, and past opponents have certainly felt that pressure and power. We'll see if she can get the hands going early here tonight. Oh, nice investment with the kick to the body. Oh, another massive kick. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that. When she is this, free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. Oh, nice kick. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Ooh, what a punch. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Just misses there with the left. She gets to the single power time. Look for her to try to move her opponent to find openings to land uppercuts and shots right up the middle. Great body kick there. Nice. All right, so she lands yet another leg kick there. She's landed several in the round, and now you see the damage. It's obvious on the other side. I mean, look at the redness in the leg, the bruising, the welts on the leg Nasty. from those leg kicks. It's unbelievable to watch someone 
land that kick over and over again. But if it's working, why would you change it? Keep going to the wall. Just over three minutes to go round one. All right, so a pretty good series of kicks by her there as she continues to really land at will tonight. I mean, there is no tell to when she is going to throw that kick. And before her opponent can react, the leg is already back and loaded up again. Andrade is cut, folks. Nasty cut on her lip just opened up. One of her coaches, the captain, Eric Albadasin, has said, Zhang Wei Li is the most gifted athlete he's ever coached, man or woman. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. Oh, nice. Perfect execution as she gets the single leg takedown. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. Oh, big head kick by her there. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Get the TKO here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Sean Whaley. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Excellent ground and pound there by Sean. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Well, she has really come out guns blazing here to start this fight. A lot of shots to the body, to the head, and really the aggression, I think, that the matchmakers and UFC president Dana White want to see. She is a woman on a mission here tonight. Well, Zhang Wei Li at her physical best here tonight. Grappling well, wrestling is on point, but ultimately it has been her striking that everybody's going to be talking about Monday morning. And all those things you speak about, John, is why the striking is so good. Because you have to worry about the wrestling. You have to worry about the grappling. You have to worry about the cardio. Oh! Well, she's able to get back up here, but man, look how wobbly she is. Wow. Oh, nice kick. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Oh, and she lands another leg kick right on the Huge shot going on right here. Could be the beginning of the end here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice right hand. What a fight. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Andrade is cut now above the eye. Oh. So a strong five minutes down. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Andrade is bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet, so you knew when you are watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did, and got that big knockdown that really did determine this round. All right, both fighters ready to go now with round ready, two. Wei Li Shong and the ready. powerful Jessica Andre. All right, next round is underway here after one of the better five-minute sequences in recent UFC history. Crazy action in that previous Hats round. off to both of these two young ladies. They both fought a tremendous round. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Nice leg kick. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you, are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you. 
who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset. Because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Well, not just the high output fight to the... All right, the referee is going to step in here, and he has momentarily halted the action. He will call on the doctor. We'll see if he ends up stopping this fight due to that cut she's dealing with. Well, you can see it, right? You can see from the damage. You can see from her reactions to the cut that we would have to get make a decision, and not her decision. Look. All right, well, they will monitor things closely, but she will be allowed to continue. you got to think she's going to really go for it now. She has to. Ready. Oh, we'll see if she can rally here. The ref gets us back underway, but that is an injury that she is going to have to protect if she's going to stay in this fight. Yeah, she's going to have to dig. I mean, this is going to be tough. It's going to be difficult in order for her to try to get her hand raised. But what she has is a chance, and that's all you can ask for, a chance to try and win the fight. Josh's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. That one looked like it really did some damage. Nice front kick fire there. Very painful looking technique. You saw it drive right into our opponent's turn. Andrade's shot is blocked. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting it. Seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent her bad. Josh's eye is absolutely revolting to look at. I know DC's got only one eye open right now, but I think it's probably time for the referee to call for the ringside position. She's getting up. Yep. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, look at that. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Well, no surprise here. She backs off and welcomes her opponent back to the feet. Man, she just continues. All right, so at this point, maybe the ringside physician will indeed call the fight referee, bringing him in to look at that damage. Got to save the athlete from themselves. Too much damage. Stop the fight, ref. She wants to continue, but... Of course she does, but I don't think Doctor yeah. should let her. There we go. All right, that's it. So the fight ends. TKO, Doctor Stoppage. Crowd a little bit disappointed, but that is the way you have to proceed if you're the ringside physician. And here we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC strongweight champion of the world, John Magnum Wayley. All right, so congratulations to the still UFC strawweight champion of the world, and I am glad my daughters don't fight at all. <laughs>